Hello everyone, this is Vlad from lovetoplaywow.com showing you uh, how to set up grid 2 for healers well showing you how I have it set up and set it up the way you want it just join the heroic to show it in action Let's see. so I've got the rejuvenation big icon in the middle of the screen so you can clearly see it I'm spam healing so you can see um, next to rejuvenation on the left live bloom with the stacks when I do uh, wild growth on the side here the small icon shows that they are getting wild growth and then there is regrowth with an icon as well on this side wait a second this guy is dying So, the health is from left to right. And you can see when you're healing how it fills up. Then you will have uh, the debuffs. The debuffs will show on the right side. Here it is with the debuffs in action. See, this is a dispellable debuff. Anyway, there's not such a big difference compared to the original Blizzard uh, interface, but what's important is that it shows the icons a lot larger. shows the icons a lot larger so it's easier for you to keep track of things like life bloom see here how small it is life bloom here I made it a lot larger so you can see easier I'm outside the dungeon now let me show you how I did this setup first we type slash grid 2 and from here the first thing I'll go and make a new profile so it shows exactly how you have it in the beginning it looks like this which is kind of crappy you see you have some free space here which is annoying and that's the spot for your pet which you do not want there so in the layouts we're gonna have for solo solo at least for now and then in the solo layout you're just going to have none because you don't want to see you already have yourself up so you don't want to have yourself in the middle of the screen as well but for setting you the icons up just have solo for party layout let's say goodbye group 5 Okay, first issue that let's take some damage. You see, it's small and it's from up to down. It's not to the side, which we do not like. So we go into grid two. We go into indicators and health. And on the health, we have layout and we have horizontal. So it's from left to right. Now what we don't like is that the size we want it bigger, wider, whatever you want to get it, I want to get it let's say like this, okay. And then notice the the whole frame, the whole the whole party frame. It's initially it's like this and we don't want this. We want it to be vertical so we take out horizontal groups and put it like this and you'll move it around the screen from this small edge here which is you can hide it later from here you can make it smaller from here initially Le general the fr uh, frame strata is this thing around the black the see-through border here 
which uh, you won't necessarily want to see. You can hide it. But it's useful for when you want to move it around and the spacing on it uh, can make it very small. Just enough so you can move it around if you know it's there. That's how I have it, like spacing 5. So in the display scale, uh, spacing 5. Okay. Then you'll notice there is uh, some default stuff on. Very tiny numbers showing rejuvenation and life bloom. But the main reason why I went with grid 2 and this setup was because I wanted to actually see big icons for rejuvenation and not text. So the corner icon is the text. This is from text. I take everything out. So corner, corner, side top, no text down name, okay text up mm, these, these are useful maybe health deficit if you don't want to see numbers there depends the corner icons are all right by me the icon center so icon center I want this to be rejuvenation so I take all this out uh, no I just put rejuvenation on top of them they've Ray debuffs, no, no ray debuffs. Buff, rejuvenation, mine. And... Yeah. Icon left, it's going to be... The... Life Bloom. And I can write it will be regrowth and whatever I can dispel. So that's poison, curse, and magic. Whatever you can dispel magic, curse, and poison. Bam, bang, bang. You see them up, so they will be there. Uh, but the sizes are wrong right now, so you see, small. <coughs> Not what we want. And then larger. So we make them more larger from layout. So icon center layout uh, size. Size. Let's make it 20. Size 20. Size layout 20. And now I'm going to put it. the top so it looks all nice and pretty the other ones as well so live bloom and regrowth Another important debuff that you must not forget is the raid debuffs. You can choose on which one of the icons you want to see them on top. I choose them for, for the right side on the regrowth space. So for the icon right, I have selected raid debuffs. This means things like impale, stuff that uh, you would like to see on your fellow members to see if they are taking extra damage. So you see it's high up here on the debuffs and I see it when, uh, on members. Okay, so that's done. Uh, what else? An issue is we don't like we fall down. We don't see our, our own uh, health, how much healing we're doing over. Maybe if you want to modify this, you go into um, statuses, health incoming and you put include player heals. So now 
when you heal, you see your own bar there. Maybe you wanna change the color. Green should be green. Help. Yeah, so for heals, in order to not see them like this, uh, they're a bit faint, like this with the class color. Remember, you have to remove here class color. Under under heals, you select heals incoming. So it was class color. You put heals incoming, and at heals incoming, you have the color. And so for everyone, it will be this nice green. One other thing to modify that we it's good to modify is the border. The border, you see, it, it has all the debuffs and health low. And this can be confusing when you have a lot of classes. You already have a, an icon showing the debuff. So take all this out. It's good. And health low because you'll see, you know, it's low. And just the target, uh, see, you know what's selected. One more important thing, something you can't do in uh, grid and it's quite annoying you see the icon starts black and then it whitens itself up so actually at the end of the, of the cooldown you see the icon brighter and it's illogical it's not good like that you wanna do this reverse cooldown so actually towards the end of it it's darkened so you know it's vanishing away you wanna do this for all of them to have reverse cooldown. That's it. And for those of you that have, for those of you that have Grid One already, there is there is an extra add-on that you can get with with Grid, Grid side icons or uh, Grid side bottom top icons. You can get those. They do the same thing except for this uh, cooldown meter the cooldown meter doesn't doesn't work quite as well so instead of grid 2 we put grid and we have corner icons or side icons whatever which one whichever you want to get and under grid you will want to go in the indicators and the center icon this was initially the real issue with uh, grid o the center icon you know you can only display uh, one one buff that's why i need to to get uh, side icons and here i have left icon it shows me life bloom and bo uh, bottom icon shows me rejuvenation and i have them this taken out from the center icon Just not using the center icon, instead using the icon sides uh, add-on to the add-on, I guess, whatever it is. This is how it is in grid. The issue with this is, yeah, the how the time flows, how the cooldown ticks here. It's from white to dark, from dark to white, which is counterintuitive. And I can't, there is no way to change it, at least for now. This is kind of how it looks if you want to configure grid one. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. Check out more guides at lovetoplayo.com. See ya and have fun.